Hey, how's it going? So this is going to be part two to my uh, series on how to rebuild and port a rotary engine. So I'm just about to get started on uh, tearing down all the accessories here. So I don't know if you can see the, my motor there, but uh, I got the car here. I just have it set down on those rollers there, but check out my new invention here. It's a uh, Patton's pendant. It's my little transmission support there. So I'll hit my light so you can kind of see it better there. Yeah, because uh, just to support the transmission so I can move the car and stuff around, but just wedged a piece of wood in there so we can set the transmission down on there so it's all nice and supported there so pretty much I'm just gonna get started uh, I'll probably start on like the turbo side so I gotta take the intake manifold back off and then uh, air pump and then I'm gonna start taking the turbos off and the exhaust manifold there so I'll lose a lot of weight just with that yeah so I got the intake manifold off there it's only like five bolts so I just popped it off but I'll show you guys like what I mean like the apex seal blue so I'll take out the front spark plug here. You can hear like there's no compression at all coming out of it like friggin so like all three faces have actually blown there but like well I can see it through my spark plug hole but I can't get the camera to look in there but uh you can see like the whole face of the one uh, apex seal is like totally gone so it's like just like what I was saying how like the, once they get old the, the tops of the three piece seals get worn down and it ended up like just folding back and it takes out the other ones there so like I'll pull out the spark plug on this one here so you can hear what it should actually sound like because it's kind of weird actually like usually the rear rudders blow but uh, this was just the front so I knew it needed to be rebuilt so can't really complain. Yeah, you can hear like that's what it should sound like when it cranks over. There's nothing out the other one there, so yeah. So I'm just gonna start over here on the turbos. So first thing to come off is gonna be the air pump. There, it's like a bolt at the bottom here, and then uh, one at the top. So it's nothing big. I'm just gonna pop those off, and then uh, unbolt the Y pipes here. You can see like the bolts where it bolts onto the turbos just to get that stuff out of the way and I'll, I'll get some other shots after yeah so I got the air pump off and stuff here so I've been taking off just the heat shields but uh, you can get like a better look at what the twin turbos look like on this car like you can see the one turbo on the back here and then uh, that's the exhaust side there and then the other turbo in the front there and there's the exhaust there so it runs off the smaller one on the front and then uh, I think it's about like 4500 RPMs, that's when the second one kicks on there, so that's what I was having problems, my second turbo in the back wasn't work, like wasn't kicking on there because of the, that turbo control solenoid there. So uh, yeah, I'm just going to pretty much uh, take off, you can see the bolts down here. Yeah, so there's the two there, one up in there, and then there's the three on this side, and uh, i got to disconnect like the oil line and then the coolant line and uh, then the return lines for the oil there on the bottom so that's one right up in there so yeah I'm just gonna do that and uh, I should have the turbos off there so. alright so I got the turbo off there so now I can get to the bolts for the exhaust manifold there and then I'll be able to take off like the lower intake manifold so I'll show you the turbos over here so. yeah so there you go the turbos are off so far so I had to take off these two bolts too, so so you know if you ever do it yourself. Get my light for you. Yeah, so I'm gonna have to take it apart a bit and uh, make sure that like the exhaust, like turbine rotor things, haven't gotten like screwed up from the seal going through it. So I'll have to check that out. Yeah, so I got the exhaust manifold off there. So uh, this is the part I've been waiting for because I get like really my first real look at the damage there. So I can see on this one. There's like a big chunk out of the side there. It's kind of hard to get the light to go right in there. Let's see if I can get some with this. Yeah, it doesn't really make a difference, eh? So uh, yeah, hold on, let me get my light. Yeah, anyways, uh, that's the first one. If you go around here, the second one, this one's completely gone. Like, there's nothing at all in there. I don't know, it doesn't show up too good. I'll get going to the next one here. Yeah, this one, like the whole center of the seal is completely gone, so that's why I had no compression on any faces. I'll get one of the good one here.
Yeah, so this is off the good side here. You can see like the solid seal. <coughs> what all? They should, like you can see it has a bit of spring to it. Can't really see in there too good. But uh, anyways, like they push down a bit, but they're pretty worn down too, so. I don't know, just feeling around inside, like, on the bad housing there, it's all, like, gouged this crap from the seal going around. But this one, it feels pretty smooth, so uh, hopefully it's in decent shape. And then I'll just have to replace the one front housing and rotor there, so. I don't know, I'll get taken off the intake manifold, and then uh, I'm going to be moving on to the other side there and start pulling all that stuff off, so get some more clips after. Okay, so the intake manifold's all off, and, uh, I ended up taking off like the primary fuel rail and all that stuff there. So this side's pretty much done. I just have like the oil metering pump left to take off, but I'm gonna have to come back to that in a few minutes. Like, I'm gonna uh, switch over to this side here and uh, start tearing all the stuff off this, like the AC compressor and power steering pump bracket thing there, and uh, all the spark plug wires and everything else there. I guess so. I'll do that, and then I'm gonna move to the front, and then I'll be able to get to the oil metering pump. So. Yeah, so I got this side all pretty much torn down, so I got like the oil pressure sender, the coolant temperature sensor, and uh, like the oil filter and everything off there, the AC br and uh, power steering pump bracket, so it's getting pretty bare now, so I'll show you guys the parts pile over here, there's quite a bit now, so you can see it all the freaking parts everywhere now, so yeah, I'm just going to uh, get working on the front of this now, so I don't know, once I get like this whole piece comes off, I can take it off all as one assembly there. So I'll get that off and then I can take off the oil metering pump. Probably uh, take off like the engine mounts and the oil pan and then basically it's ready for the teardown. Other than like I have to take off the flywheel and clutch still and uh, that stuff. But uh, that's probably going to be tomorrow's video. So you can see I got the water pump housing and everything off there so you can see like there's just those four studs there and then uh, there's one more long bolt that goes in right there so you undo those and uh, the whole water pump assembly and housing and everything it comes off it all as one there so I took that off and got off the oil metering pump right there and uh, took off like the little oil injector nozzles there so I just got this thing set up here it's kind of lucky uh, it's my parts car I got this fancy uh, flywheel stopper with it before, like, I didn't have one when I did my red en uh, red car's engine there, but, uh, if you take out, like, one of these, uh, bolts for the fly, like, go into the flywheel there, you can just, uh, get a piece of chain and, uh, put the bolt in there and then bolt it to the back of the rear iron there and just, like, so you're using the chain as a flywheel stopper instead of, like, a little fancy thing like that, but I'm just gonna take off the clutch now and, uh, then, uh, take off, like, the front pulleys there, so... I don't know, I'll get working on those. Alright, so I took the pulleys off the front hub there, so that's all ready to go. So, uh, I don't know, I'm going to have to come back here. I got the clutch off, but you can see, like, this is the old clutch disc. Like, I don't know, there's still meat on it and stuff, but, uh, the problem with these, like, this is, like, just a stock clutch, but, uh, with these sprung-type clutches, too, like, you get too many hard launches and these springs just get, like, right loose, like, I think this is the worst one. Like I can almost pop that out. Oh sorry, I hit my light. Yeah, so this one you can see like on these springs here, they get pretty loose, like then it'll eventually pop out and you won't even be able to use your clutch there. So I don't know. I'm gonna have to wait till tomorrow to get the flywheel and stuff off there because I need uh some helpers there to help hold the motor because it's torqued on like freaking two or three hundred freaking foot pounds or something like that. No can't hold it myself while I'm cranking it off so I don't know I'm gonna wait till uh, they come over to take off like the oil pan and uh, engine mounts there just so it gives us like a little bit more leverage so pretty much I just have to pop off the flywheel oil pan engine mounts and then uh, can break this uh, front hub loose and then uh, take off the front cover and oil chain or oil pump and oil chain and all that stuff and uh, then it's ready to be torn down so Yes, uh, thanks for watching and I'll uh, check back tomorrow and I should have the teardown video. So I'll talk to you guys later.